Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got content and it is actually on time today and we have the golden tickets in the game. We're going to come back to these though and we'll take a look here at DK and everybody else but I always wait until the golden tickets are actually like up on the auction house to start opening up packs but I do want to give a shout out to Jonathan Ramos for being a part of the Nodi gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on and comment down below, Nodi Gang. And yes, guys, uh, I constantly get this question whenever Golden Tickets are live. But yes, they have boosted odds right now. So for the four that came out today, so Benny Snell, Tim Tebow, DK, and Montez Sweat, there are boosted odds today and tomorrow. On Sunday, they get cut off. So today and tomorrow, guys, we have boosted odds. And also, it looks like EA decided to finally drop some draft packs in the store. No rerolls, though. But we finally got draft packs, so if you want to go ahead and get those lower overall players, there you go. Of course, it's golden ticket day. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, though. Of course, I am going to be doing a gameplay today. I mean, we have three of the four I think are really good. As get a 93 overall Shaquille Griffin to start off the pack opening, definitely will take that. But I want to do Tebow gameplay. I'm thinking Tebow, Sweat, and I guess DK. If you guys want to see that triple golden ticket gameplay today, drop a like in the video. I will definitely knock that out. Now, I don't know how expensive these guys are going to be. Of course, uh, my suggestion to you guys when it comes to these golden ticket players, because it's just something we've kind of seen with these GTs. If you really want them, wait until tomorrow afternoon. Usually at the end of a cycle with LTDs or golden tickets or whatever, they are the cheapest towards the end. So like Saturday afternoon... That's probably when you want to go ahead and pick up Tebow. That's when you want to go ahead and pick up uh, DK Metcalf or Montez Sweat. If you want one of those guys, that is probably the time for you to go ahead and buy. But of course, I'm going to buy them up today and get that gameplay done. I really hope they're not like super, super expensive. But I feel like DK is one of the best GTs. Montez Sweat, definitely, definitely one of the best golden tickets like by far and away 95 speed defensive end i mean like he has to be on my team that is probably a card that everybody's gonna want so i feel like sweat it's gonna be really expensive honestly i think sweat's gonna be very very expensive probably the best right end in the game for the rest of the year i'd imagine with that much speed i, I mean that's just that's insane 99 speed in a washington theme team you just can't beat that you literally cannot beat that that is just that's wild now as for tim tebow though a question i'm getting a lot of is should you go with rg3 or should you go with Tebow? If I'm being completely unbiased here, okay, because I did help Dom make Tim Tebow, I'm gonna say RG3 because RG3 does actually have the faster release and he is faster. So, like, I do think that RG3 is probably the better QB, but Tim Tebow has also got insane running stats. I know RG3 does too, but Tebow is probably gonna actually be like a tank of a QB. Like, you're probably gonna be able to truck over some corners or whatever with Tim Tebow because if I remember correctly, he has 99 trucking, I wanna say. And of course, the break tackle, I believe, was a 99. We also boosted up the juke move, so Tebow, Tebow's a tank. But of course, I'm gonna do some Tim Tebow gameplay, and out of all of the golden ticket QBs, I believe Tebow actually uh, has the slowest release. So, yeah. Take that as it is. It's it's still Tim Tebow, though. Like, that's just kind of a fun one. One quarterback, though, that I wish we got this year is definitely QB Ogden because quarterback Ogden would have been incredible. I would have loved a quarterback out of position Ogden. Uh, but unfortunately so, we didn't get him. We have a 90 overall John Randall right here, though. And we actually have, I believe, two more releases for golden tickets. So we have Taysom Hill Green Redux. 95 pat feet okay uh we do have two more releases i believe for golden tickets left and then we're gonna get the uh developer gts as well we have Taysom hill and ryan Tannehill. so i'm gonna imagine they won't drop both of those the same week they're probably going to split those guys up so like this next week maybe we'll get Tannehill or Taysom. i don't know whichever one didn't we just pull that 90 overall john randall like two or three packs ago pretty sure we just did right there next couple packs here though we get a thousand coins I want to try to pull a GT, man. Can't be this hard. Cannot be this hard to pull a golden ticket. I do have... I'm trying to remember here. Do I have two or three? I think I have 
three golden ticket pulls, I want to say, so far this year. So we're already past last year's golden tickets. I mean, I only pulled two GTs all of last year, and it took me forever to pull a golden ticket. So these GTs are definitely flying out of packs a lot more. However, they're not really flying out of regular packs. They're just coming out of the training variety pack. I mean, I've told you guys this since golden tickets really have dropped. I've seen probably 10 or less golden tickets being tweeted at me out of actual packs like UL fantasy packs or elite player packs whatever it seems like they're really just coming out of training variety which I'm okay with I mean I'm sure you guys don't mind that at all I'm sure the majority of people probably don't open up regular packs that much and most people just kind of open up the training variety pack which is why they are now 2500 training instead of 2000 let's do like five more packs though then with the auction house Show you guys these GTs. I want to see the price, man. Now, obviously, they just came out, so they're going to be a little bit more on the expensive side, like, right now. But I'd imagine their price, they'll go down just a little bit, right? Tim Tebow, I mean, he's probably going to be 500, 600 K, I'd imagine, just because of his name. But maybe not. Maybe he's going to be flying out of packs like that. DK, probably around that same price range. But again, it just really comes down to the pack odds. As you get a 92 overall, DeMarcus Ware right there. Benny Snell may be a little bit, a little bit on the cheaper side. Probably gonna be a little bit on the cheaper side for the GTs. And of course, Sweat, he's gonna be very expensive. I don't, I don't see how Sweat goes for less than 500K, if not like way more, honestly. He may be like a 700K GT first week, but we're about to hit the auction house here and we'll find out. Final training variety, no golden ticket, thousand coins. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the auction house here and we'll see what these golden tickets are looking like. And again, you know, it's it's only like 10.45 right now. So about 15 minutes after they dropped. And it looks like as of right now, I'm looking to see if any are really cheap. And do we have any super cheap golden tickets that are new? I was kind of expecting to see like Benny Snell down here. Doesn't really look like it. So Snell currently 600K. I think it'll get a lot cheaper. 96 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 99 carrying, 80 catch, 95 change direction, 99 truck, and break tackle. He does have, you know, 99 juke move. Okay, 99 stiff arm, uh, 95 spin move. And in terms of route running, he has 78. Sure, it's not a terrible, terrible card. And of course, on the Steelers theme team, is going to be 99 speed. So that's going to be a very, very good pickup for uh, Steelers theme teams. As for the GTs, it looks like they're really not being pulled. This is interesting for sure. Okay, so Tim Tebow up for 1.2 mil. Not a lot of new GTs up. He's got 92 speed, 95 throw power. So you will need to add, you know, like play fake on him or whatever to get him up to 99 throw power there. But he does have 98 short, 96 medium, 95 deep, 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run. Then, of course, his running stats. He has 96 carry, 99 juke move, 99 break sack, 99 break tackle, and also 99 trucking. So he is a monster QB 236 pounds as well and of course in terms of his abilities guys he does have two field general two strong armor one scrambler so you can get escape artist conductor hara master inside dead eye and gunslinger all for 8 ap also dk is up here now there's only two dk metcalfs up so okay interesting 98 speed 96 excel though and i man pursuit zone hit power tackling on the card as well only a 90 change of direction but if you're gonna user him just blitz him You'll be completely fine there. He does also have 99 jump in a six foot three, so I think he's the best user card in the game. And 78 block shed. I mean, the card is monstrous. Definitely a monster GT. And it looks like Sweat is not up right now. Are these GTs? Okay, so yes, one Sweat is up. Only one Montez Sweat. I guess they're just not being pulled as uh, often right now. He has 95 speed and 98 acceleration, so. 97 speed and 99 excel on any team 99 speed and 99 excel on a washington theme team 97 block shit 96 power move and 99 finesse move now in terms of boost i don't know what was boosted but i know power move was definitely boosted but as for that like aside from that what else actually got boosted is 97 impact block and then 75 zone to be honest it doesn't really matter because the card is still an absolute tank but i really don't know what was boosted aside from power move but as long as they did power move i guess it really doesn't matter he does have 70 catches i mean i'm just trying to find out what was boosted here but to be honest i don't i don't really know exactly what was maybe play rick or something but he does have power rusher times two speed rush times two and run stopper so an absolute tank of a golden ticket but it really does seem like the odds on these being pulled are not as high which is very interesting if i sort by newest here we can uh 
see how many of these new GTs are being put up. So DK right there, Montez Sweat, Tebow's down to 800K, Benny Snell. It's very interesting. So we'll see how many get thrown up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Triple gameplay later today. If they uh, come down in price a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.